Happy Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tom, and this is some GTA content that I've had saved up over the Halloween period. I've already got a tutorial out on how to get this nearly $2 million motorbike absolutely free, and you must do it in the Halloween month of October, otherwise you will miss out on it forever. There are also a wide variety of new masks down at Vespucci Beach, which I have acquired and uh, obviously perused to my leisure. But there's lots of masks for your cosplays and costumes and different Halloween activities to go crazy with. There's some Freddy Krueger ones, which looks kind of awesome, so I bought one. And me and my girlfriend were going to originally dress up as, like, I was going to try and do, like, a Ghost Rider, Hellboy type thing with my girlfriend. But in the end, we ended up going for Beetlejuice. It was a kind of cool concept. It took me and my girlfriend absolutely ages to find the right costumes. But in the end, me and Hella did go one up from last year where we did Harley Quinn and the Joker characters in GTA. And we kind of went for a more musical theme this year. And we went for Beetlejuice and Lydia Dietz. So if you know the film Beetlejuice or the musical Beetlejuice, that is what we went for. It was super hard to find this suit in GTA, but after a few hours of searching, we found it. I was also able to customise it, and with my amazing photographer Helen, I was able to capture some really cool moments, like setting my motorbike on fire and riding off super badassly like that. But during all of this, one of the cool Halloween events happened, and Helen ended up getting chased and killed by the Stephen King car, Christine, the ghost car, which is a rare phenomenon happening in GTA Online over the Halloween time. So Christine, the, the ghost car, was driving around, setting on fire, running over people. Uh, it was like an AI-free car that just drove around and would attack a player at random, which was kind of cool. Then there was these UFOs that were happening around the map as well, which we do manage to find at some point in this video, like a, as a rare sighting event. But the one we didn't get any clips of was the slashers, where apparently random NPCs will just run and attack your character, depending on how many people are in your server and where you are and things like that. But I customised this cool hearse, so I got the two of my favourite Halloween vehicles. I got the cool hearse, which we customised. It's got the little Frankenstein in the back, which looks awesome. And I got the awesome motorbike, which I really love. So both videos on how to get the motorbike are on my channel. And the other one about exploring some of the Halloween live events and things like that are also on the channel. But this is just more of a sort of gaming Halloween send-off. I've had a very busy end to October. Going into November, we're going to be very jam-packed. I do uni half-time as well as doing YouTube, so sometimes I have to balance my time. And, and this month, we've tried to upload as many Halloween videos as possible. feel like we've done a fair bit of that, so I'm happy. There's also a Halloween vlog coming out on the channel on the day of Halloween itself, so if you do want to watch that, you're more than welcome to subscribe and check that out when it releases. We've also tried to do as much Halloween content as possible throughout Call of Duty, throughout Warzone, GTA, Red Dead, etc. It's very hard, one-person channel. Trying to cover as much content as I've done this year, but I've tried my best and I feel like I've done as good as I could with the time that I've had. The last year's Halloween, COVID was around and we weren't really worried about having to balance uni work with YouTube. We could kind of lean into the YouTube side a bit more, which gave me a taste of doing YouTube possibly full time when I do leave uni, which is something we'll have to talk about maybe towards the end of next year. But in the meantime, whilst balancing uni with YouTube, I've been able to get as much content as possible over the month of October, which has been something that I've enjoyed doing, and creating content for you guys is one of my biggest enjoyments of my day. So, coming home after a long shift at uni and creating some fun moments and content is always a good thing to do, and I really, really love doing it. We're doing a lot of different YouTube shorts at the minute, because that's a new feature on YouTube, and I'm still trying to play around with it and learn how to do as best as I can with them. I've got a bit of success from them so far, so that's kind of cool. One of the Halloween videos got 12,000 views, so if you want to watch that, it's on the channel as well. And more of these long, fully-fledged-out videos are also going to come out when I see fit. But if you did enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon. Peace. What does perfect even mean?